fifth grade math, chapter three, lesson 11, add and subtract money. At the end of May, Mrs. Freeman had an account balance of $44 or $442.37. Since then, she has written a check for $63.92 and made a deposit of $350. Mrs. Freeman says she has $729.45 in her account. Make a table to determine if Mrs. Freeman is correct. So what do I need to find? So I need to find if Mrs. Freeman's checkbook balance is correct. What information do I need to use? I need to use the, what did it give us in the? So the starting balance, right? So I need to use the starting balance. Comma, what else? So the starting balance, what was next? How much she wrote the check for. Okay, what she made the check out for. And how much she what? Deposited. Okay, how much she deposited. How will I use the information? I need to make a table and use the information to, what are we gonna do with the information, guys? What would we do with the starting account balance? We take that and then do what with that? Subtract. Subtract the check she wrote. And what would we do with the deposit? And add her deposit. So then what they did was they gave us a checkbook ledger over here. And on a checkbook ledger, you have um, different columns. You have a column for when you deposit money, and you have a column for when you take away money or you write checks, okay? So basically what they did here is they said that she wrote her check for $63.92 and then she deposited three, um, $350, all right? So what we need to show here then is what um, she got after she did those things, okay? So originally, what did she start with? $143.30. And then what did she subtract? $63.92. Now, what did I have to make sure I did there? I had to make sure my decimals were in line, right? Okay, hey, can I take, um, well, what do I need to do first? Bring down my decimal. Bring down my decimal. Can I take seven or two from seven? Yes. 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 And I get five. Can I take nine from three? No. No. So this becomes a and this becomes an one. a one. Thirteen minus nine is four. Four. Can I take three from one? No. So this becomes an eleven. And then uh, this becomes a three. 11 minus 3 is 8. eight. eight. Can I take 6 from 3? No. So this becomes a 13. And this becomes a 13. 13 minus 6 is 
and then bring down my three. three. So then I'm going to write what that difference was right here. So I'd write three hundred seventy-eight dollars and forty-five cents because that's what I had left after I wrote that check. Now it says to do what? Add. So here, this is what they took out. This is the deposit column. So right here, we need to say plus $350. So down here, we're going to add $350. So, what do I need to do first? Bring down the decimal. Bring down my decimal. Five plus zero is? Five. Four plus zero is? Four. Eight plus zero is? Eight. Seven plus five is? Twelve. Okay, the one, one plus three plus three is? Seven. So, then we have $728.50. So, Mrs. Freeman's correct balance is, what did you guys just say? $728.45. How can you tell if your answer is reasonable? Our answer is reasonable. It is close to Mrs. Freeman's Nick is buying juice for himself and five friends. Each bottle of juice costs one dollar and twenty-five cents. How much does six bottles of juice cost? Make a table to find the cost of six bottles of juice. Use the graphic below to solve the problem. So, how many bottles of juice are we having, guys? Six. So, six bottles of juice, and they're each? $1.25. Okay, so what do I need to find? I need how much the six bottles of juice cost. Okay, so I need to find how much. Six bottles of juice cost. What information do I need to use? So, how many bottles do we have? So, six bottles. And how much is each bottle? One dollar and twenty-five cents each. How will I use the information? So what are we going to make? Okay. I will make a table to find the answer. So if I make my table over here, guys, what's going to be on my left side? So the number of bottles, right? And then what's going to go on the other side? What could how much it costs also be called? The price. All right, so one bottle is how much, guys? One dollar and twenty-five cents. Two bottles would be what? Two dollars and fifty cents. What would three bottles be? Three dollars and seventy-five cents. What would four bottles be? Five dollars. 
what would five bottles be? Six dollars and twenty-five cents. And what would six bottles be? Seven dollars and fifty cents. And fifty cents. So the total cost of six bottles of juice is what if Ginny says that 12 bottles of juice cost $25? Is Ginny's statement reasonable? Explain. No. No. no because. Why not, guys? Because it puts six is $7.50. Okay. And because six bottles. Of juice cost seven dollars and fifty cents. So, so what? So if you add seven fifty plus seven fifty. Okay, how much is that seven fifty plus seven fifty? How many bottles is that? So that would be twelve. Okay, so twelve bottles cost. Cost what, guys? $15. Cost $15. If Nick had $10, how many bottles of juice could he buy? Eight. Eight, Eight bottles. 